In the summer of 2017, the Burmese army laid waste to the western province of Rakhine, formerly Arakan. Nearly 500 villages were burnt. An entire population fled to the forests and hills. The Rohingya people. They are Muslims, unwanted in a mainly Buddhist country. After days on foot, the survivors reached the border. On the opposite bank, Bangladesh. The repression left thousands dead in Rakhine, the province where the Rohingya people used to live. Most of them fled Burma, their own country. Bangladesh has taken in 700,000 refugees. The situation remains a textbook example of ethnic cleansing. Can anyone rule out that elements of genocide may be present? genocide. International law has yet to decide. But many academics and diplomats are defending their cause. However, there is no doubt that the events were premeditated. That requires uh, decisions by people in power. That requires time and resources to plan. And was it premeditated? Nothing in Myanmar happens without a plan. There's always a master plan. The operation to drive out the Rohingya must have been prepared, organized. The authorities were arming uh, hostile, non-Rohingya ethnic communities who surrounded. They were being trained to kill. There were groups of monks touring the country to explain to school children the problems of Islam. For years in Myanmar, the scent of genocide has hung in the air. But racism doesn't explain everything. Who was to gain from this crime against humanity? <laughs> <laughs> 